Hi, Rumians. I'm Drushnik. Thank you for being here and welcome back to episode two of the Grumi Collective in our Stellaris Federations series. Let's just jump straight into it because we are colonizing our second planet over here. And I'm really, 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 really excited about it. So <laughs> I just really want to play. I am immediately recording this episode after recording the first one. So same day, same date, sort of the same time. Same me, happy that I can play this. Talassus 4A is exceptionally rich in, in minerals. Minerals that are unfortunately of no use to us. However, Science Officer Stalk of Aquamarine believes the many elements in the crust of Talassus 4A can be transformed into potentially more useful forms through positron bombardment. The ISS Floating Leaf has requests that the Groomy Collective set aside 100 energy credits for the purposes of this project. Situation log updated. You're getting it. Okay. Anomaly found. Oh, whoa, 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 I missed it. 100 Colossal Impact Crater. Yep, research. Founding a new home. Our colony ship has found a rare patch of open ground in the jungles of Stimsis Prime and made planet fall. The landing site is surrounded on all sides by lush vegetation, and sentry drones have been deployed to guard against predators. The ship has been permanently converted into the, into the administrative headquarters of the new settlement, and its reactor core is in the process of being removed so that it may serve as the colony's temporary power source. Hundreds of small tents and prefab shelters have sprung up around the former starship's massive hull as colonists begin to disembark in large numbers. The first groomy city on an alien world. So as we wait for things to happen, let's talk about the... Uh, the goals of this series. Basically, it's, you know, get to the endgame crisis and win it, but obviously with the Federation's expansion pack coming out, Construction complete. what I basically want to do is look at what the expansion pack has to offer. Mm -hmm. So I want to get an early Federation, if possible. I want to send envoys. I want to make everybody and the whole galaxy happy and love me. <laughs> yeah, that's the goal. A large mineral-rich asteroid collided with Talassus IV at some point during the previous thousand years in what must have been a major impact event. An abundance of minerals can now be found on the planet in the vicinity of the impact crater. There is new music in this game, by the way. And it's gorgeous. It's so good. Very, very System enjoyable. They complete. did a good job with that. Okay, let's see. We have a pretty good system here in terms of trade value. Um, let's go here, and then here, 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 and here. And I want research station output, because we are now making them. Um... By the way, if you are new to this game or haven't played a lot of Stellaris and you have questions, let me know. I'll be very, very happy to help you with uh, with any and all questions that you may have. I am getting a new science ship because I want to explore this part as well. So that's going to be important. Construction complete. We need to know what is around Stimsis Prime so that we can defend it if need be, so let's see. Ooh, leader experience gain plus 25%. Let's get Rizome of Lavender. You're a little bit old, but that's okay. Maybe you can... Nah. Nah, 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 nah. No, no, no. Survey. 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 Get that experience going, Rizome. And I think it's almost time to get a second construction ship. Yes, it, it's actually time to do it right now. Boom. I did it. I did it. I did it. <laughs> yes, fleet manager. Five of these. And the other two. System survey complete. There we go. I, was that an excavation that I heard? Yep. Our archaeological team have started their work down on Joy. Seismographic readings quickly isolated a hollow area underground on the rough location indicated by the alien indicators previously discovered. The underground expanse is vast, and despite its mysterious nature, one thing is beyond doubt amongst the experts. 
It's not natural. Someone built it with a specific purpose in mind. Keep digging. We're getting quite a few minor artifacts. Anomaly found. Routine anomaly. Impressive structures litter a small area. Let's research that. There's a lot going on over here. And there was a lot going on on Talassus as well. Let's let's immediately get that after uh, after we finish this. And then we're done in this little nook of the galaxy. And this construction ship can actually go here. Build up that outpost. And what we also need to do is upgrade this star base, I suppose. So let's get that going. The structures on Alfard 2A are not as old as we first believed. It seems to be a playground or amusement park of some sort. Science officer Stalk of Aquamarine notes that many of the contraptions are highly complex creations that we can learn much from, and that, to the builder's alien eyes, this might have been a cutting-edge sensor array or even a gigantic art installation. Regardless to us Grumans, it looks mostly like a place where you would take your young and let them amuse themselves. Now, interestingly, this is the same picture as they use for the um, standing on the shoulders of... Or not standing, on the shoulders of Giants origin. I guess they didn't change that. Or maybe it's... Anomaly found. On purpose. Uh, Aerostat structures. Okay. Research. Okay, we have some trade value here. So as soon as this uh, levels up, we can made it, make a trade hub. And get that value into our systems. That's going to be very useful. Uh, now, if I look at... Oh, hello. We have found volatile moats. That's great. If I look at our policies... Diplomatic stance is expansionist. That's good for outpost build cost and colony development speed. Bo bad for border friction. Now, I think I'm going to keep it for now because I do want the outpost to be as cheap as possible right now. But as soon as we kind of get surrounded by other empires, I think I'm going to switch to cooperative and get diplomatic weight from that. Envoy and proof relations uh, improved and lower border friction. Now our war philosophy is unrestricted wars. That's fine by me. Orbital bombardment indiscriminate. Eh, whatever. So resettlement is allowed. First contact protocol is peaceful. Initial border status open. Food policy, dietary balance is good. Mixed economy. Wealth creation. Robotic workers are allowed. Population control is prohibited. Slavery is prohibited. And purging is prohibited. Yep, that's fine. If we look at edicts, can we get a good edict going? Map the stars, for example? No, because we don't have anything. Okay, fine. System survey complete. Fine, fine, fine. A small aeroset colony was found floating just above the atmosphere of Ramas II. It appears to have been self-sufficient, and remains from several different species were found on board. As best as we can tell, the colony was some kind of social experiment conducted centuries ago that ultimately ended with the colonists massacring each other. We have downloaded all of the data found in the colony's limited data max. <laughs> Hunger Games much? Construction. Oh, complete. that makes me hungry! That's bothering me now. I want to eat a cookie. <laughs> and, and not those internet cookies. System the real survey cookies. complete. Not oh, that, damn it. <sighs> it's so annoying when you make yourself complete. hungry. You're like, oh no. No. Yeah. Okay, after you're done with that, go to Alfard because that's a really good complete. system and I want it. Are you done yet? No, not yet, but almost. So what I want, I want a shipyard and a trade system hub. System survey complete. I'm going to start with the shipyard. Oh, we need Aculum as well, though, then. Construction complete. Um... Admin cap? I don't know. You're done. Let's get you over here. Hey, you're done. Whoa, why are you done? What were you supposed to do? I'm confused. Who are you? Stock of Aquamarine. I'm so confused. Okay, go research this anomaly. And then I guess you can research that project. We have that shiny ship over there, so you go here. I guess this was an old order. It took you a while to get there. Huh. Okay. Fine. Proving grounds. The excavation crew has finally reached the underground structure. 
Vast angular halls and tunnels were explored. A complete lack of adornment made it difficult to establish the purpose of the structure. When Stock of Silver entered the main chamber, a deep sound suddenly reverberated. Initially just thundering noise, the sound slowly contorted until an incorporeal voice spoke a single sentence in our language. Are you ready? <laughs> I can't keep this up. The booming voice was followed by deep rumble as one of the giant walls slowly slid away to reveal a dark corridor. Our archaeologists eagerly went inside. You know, I would not want to be an archaeologist. I would probably die on the very first mission. <laughs> it's very deadly to be an archaeologist. Let's go to Aculum with you, actually. Get that starbase. Oh! Okay, we finished the discovery tree. Nice. So, um, is there anything interesting new in here right now? Well, maybe later. Yeah, probably later. Um, standard technological ascendancy research fleet plus 10%. Yes, let's do it. We need it. If we're going to be weak, we have to be ahead of the rest in terms of other, you know, things. The ISS floating leaf crew has succeeded in isolating a signal embedded within the usual pattern of unusual pattern of interference in the Fiona system. The signal is a song, a complex sonification of an advanced mathematical equation to be precise, and one that science officer stock of aquamarine cannot seem to get out of their head. Who or what may have composed this song remains unknown, though its complexity infers an incredible level of technological sophistication regarding subspace harmonics. The signal's geodesics suggest a point of origin from outside of our galaxy. Oh, Claudius. I've read this thing so many times. But for those who are new, it's new. <laughs> um, now, I do hope... Oh, we have a new elder coming. Uh, I do really hope that the con Anomaly found. does not do to us what it did in the last series. Our lithoid series. Our dragons. That, that would suck, because... That series ended early, basically because of the con. So I hope that that doesn't happen. Uh, Franz, Franz of Blue has been elected, and he was the... Do, 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 I think the governor on New Leaf. But he was a bad governor, so that's fine. Now he is a reformer, so good for monthly unity and good for trade value. Mm, I like the other one better. But that's okay. We'll get... Uh, hello. A new governor here. Is there anything... Oh, research. Let's get the younger one. Franz of Lavender. Wait, you're Lavender and you are what? Blue. Oh, okay. Construction complete. Franz of Lavender and Franz of Blue. Alright. You're doing the positron bombardment that we had unlocked a while ago. Is there anything interesting over here in the Cyberx Precursors, Planetside Mining? Okay, so you want Special two additional complete. mining districts, and that gives us six months worth of unity. That, that'll that happen. That'll be okay. That'll be easy. We'll get it over here already. The crew of the ISS Floating Leaf are pleased to report that the experiment was a success, and a significant number of dense mineral veins on Talos's 4A have been transmuted into usable resources. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Are you building Starbase? Yes, you are. Construction complete. Construction complete. Thank you. So now we are collecting the trade value from Aculum. So that's good. Our, you have developed new skills. Stock of silver. Okay. Biology expertise. Fine. I want Alphard. I want it! What are we missing? Unity. Uh, I mean, influence. Yeah. That's influence, right? Yeah. Whew. It's been a while. It's been a while. Mm, let's see. I do have alloys. I could reinforce my ships. Oh, I'm missing four. Hey, hello. <laughs> System survey okay. complete. A dark corridor led to an empty round chamber. Stepping inside, the disembodied voice spoke yet again, saying that only the deserving may continue. I need a better booming voice. Hang on. Only the dis- No, that's bad. 
whatever. Short corridors connected the round chamber to three other small rooms, each containing some kind of physics-oriented problem. Stock of Silver believes that these are scientific riddles that, once solved, may provoke some reaction in the structure. But it's all speculation. Well, you know what to do, archaeologist. Do your archaeology thing. And make me happy. <laughs> we have detected what appears to be a naturally occurring subspace phenomenon on the edge of the Prithi system. Where is that? No, we don't know. I'm guessing... I don't know. Here? No, no, no. We do not know. Okay. A rift in the very fabric of space-time is formed here creating a wormhole that our scientists speculate may provide a conduit through subspace to another wormhole located somewhere else in the galaxy. Depending on where the second wormhole is located, this could potentially allow ships to travel from one end of the galaxy to the other in a matter of days. Unfortunately, the wormhole, like the vast majority of its kind, is inherently unstable. Any vessels foolish enough to pass through it would be ripped apart in seconds. But if it could only somehow be stabilized. Okay, so we got... Ooh, there's a planet. There we go. Oh, Alpine World. Come on. Boo. Boo, I say. All three science puzzles have been completed in the mysterious chambers deep underground the surfaces of joy. Surface of joy. There's only one surface on the planet, right? Just as Stock of Silver suspected, the structure responded to the correct solutions for the alien trials. As the last riddle was solved, a cloudy holographic projection exploded to life in the main chamber. It was a fine resolution depiction of our solar system, along with scrolling instructions for various alien technologies. Another galactic position was indicated by a bright point of light. The search continues. Research option gained nanomechanics. Ooh. Cool. So we get a... There we go. Another excavation site buried deep. Our scanners have picked up something deep beneath the surface of bear's fruit. <laughs> okay. Excavate. Construction complete. Thank you. New frontiers established. Thank you. Uh, we could go get Vana. Research complete. Okay, we got survey speed. Oh, research speed. Yes, please. Um, we got the colony. Stimps is prime. There System we go. System survey complete. Let's build that district straight away because you always need that. And... Hmm. Well. Well, well, well. Well, 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 well. Research complete. We're almost low on consumer goods income. We'll be okay, though. Minerals for miners or engineering research for research? Yeah, that's almost done, nanomechanics. Oh, aliens! Aliens! Hang on. Is that a ship? Oh, <gasps> It's a ship! We have found the first aliens. The Groomy Collective has finally encountered fellow wanderers among the stars. Despite their intentions being unknown and potentially even hostile, the atmosphere on New Leaf following the report from our contact fleet can best be described as rapturous. Okay, hang on. I wanna I wanna know who this is. 16 months. I don't care. What are we researching? Administrative cap. That's fine. We can wait with that. That's exciting. Take over the month, please. Thank you. System survey complete. At some point in galactic history, the Inagor system evidently supported a vast orbital infrastructure of unusual proportions, which has since been systematically demolished. There are large concentrations of debris in geostationary orbits around most of the planetary bodies in the system, including several massive space station hulks. The largest of these is a colossal sentry array. Oh, come on. Our initial scans suggest it, <laughs> that when it was operational, this array was powerful enough to provide real-time sensor coverage over the entire galaxy. There we go, a mega structure. We need to get this system then. System survey complete. New priorities. Anomaly found. Go here. New priorities right now. And a tomb world. <laughs> Yay! Oh, look at that. Oh, tropical. Oh, Anomaly come on. Found. Okay. <sighs> Breathe. For an alien object. Okay, research. 
Breathe, Drushni, breathe. Hey, you have nothing to do. Oh, that's pretty. Pretty? Very pretty? Survey, 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 survey. Survey everything. Like so. And you. It's gonna be upgraded. And do I reinforce you? I think I'm gonna reinforce them as well. Research and I'm gonna complete. Get, oh, hello. Research from researchers. Ships upgraded. Mining station output. Yes, please. And oh, we need to get this as well. When you're done over there, go build that one. Thank you. Um, we need an admiral. I do like gale speed admirals. I also like fleet logisticians. But I'm going to go for a rhizome of brown. There we go. The ISS floating leaf has recovered an elongated metal box from the surface of Inagor 5A. Clusters of small perforations on five sides lead science officer Petals of Black to believe it is not a container, but some sort of aerosol dispersal device. Initial tests seem to confirm their suspicions as trace aromatics still emanate from the object. A special project has been issued to confirm whether this might be an information-carrying device constructed by some alien race communicating primarily through the secretion and reception of atmosphere-borne chemical compounds. Smells. Melodorous. Reinforcements in transit. Okay, so this is new in Federations, or in the Federations uh, update, I, I should say, uh, because this is part of the free uh, update, I think. So we have a shipyard over here. And our main fleet that is getting these ships is over here. So in order to improve the performance of the game, especially in late game and when you're far away from your shipyards and ships have to go really, 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 really far to meet up with your main fleet, um, they have now made it so that reinforcements are in transit, which basically makes them missing in action. Um, and, and therefore they don't fly around on the map, but then they don't use the processing power required to make them fly across the map. So I think, I think this is going to be a quality of life improving, uh, option, hopefully. Now, normally I would right now go for expansion, but I think now I'm going to go for diplomacy and get the Federation unlocked as soon as we possibly can. Let's do it. Play differently than you usually do, right? And that's the point. Okay, we have a job. Uh, one housing, so let's get this district going first. That'll give you a job too. But we also really need energy. And food. But what we'll do is we'll get a food district here, because this planet is perfectly suited for that. System survey complete. And let's see. Okay, we can just clear these things out. What about here? Nope, we don't have this possibility yet. Okay. They can talk, and they want to talk to us. First contact. After successfully translating their language, we have established communication with the fire tribes of Yim. Diplomatic channels are now open, and all hostilities have been terminated. <gasps> Birds! I represent the fire tribes of Yim. Our elected leader, clan speaker, Harpia Huakali, hopes for peaceful relations with your people. But know that we are more than capable of defending our way of life. <laughs> These are fanatic militarists and materialists, so they are slightly our opposites, but that's okay. We will just say, love is friendship set to music. And what we'll do now... Where are they? Oh, they're over there. Um, the news that we have encountered intelligent alien life for the first time is spreading like a wildfire throughout the Groomy Collective. Our citizens are fascinated by these beings, and the media is full of reports and speculation on their culture and society. The revelation that we are not alone in this galaxy has largely been greeted with celebration on New Leaf. Just like us, the aliens appear to be relative newcomers on the galactic stage, and their level of technology is similar to our own. Okay, pause. So they are over there. Um, we can go over to basically Ramas and be quite safe. So if we go Inagor, Ogol, 
ugly coppice, Ramus, then we can secure all this. There's no chance that we can go past here, I don't think. They will be faster than we be. Than we, than we be. But hopefully we can expand over here then. Um, now, this is new in, in Federations, and this is why I'm very happy that we already meet a second uh, empire in... Uh, uh, as another empire in the second episode. Uh, they have an attitude towards us, and it's wary. Mm, but we can improve their attitude by saying improve relations, and we can send envoys to them. So let's actually do that. Let's send fa Franz of Bronze, because we like our Franz colors. But why not send multiple ones? Let's also send Stock of Orange. Mm, I think that's going to be enough for now. Yeah, I think... Well, spirituals, fools, materials, fools... Eh, no, I think it's okay if we if we just sent two envoys. Now, their diplomatic stance is, is belligerent, so they will try to bully weaker empires into submission. Their fleet power is overwhelming, as I expected it to be, but the rest is equivalent, so that's good to me. So. And they are mechanists, okay. Start the game with eight pops being robots. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Now you're still surveying Inagor. That's okay. Ooh! Four new factions! Okay, I'm not gonna read all the faction pop-ups, but we will look at them, obviously. Um, that's fine if I just do it like that. So we have the True Democracy Coalition, who want anti-autocracy free movement reproductive freedom and anti-stratification so they're gonna be quite happy the alien suffrage center no purges all refugees welcome new contact so they will be very happy as you can see here association of scientific scholars ai allowed bleeding edge which is uh what is that staying ahead of the curve and not allowing any fellow empires to be more than equivalent tech level Ooh, and synth envy okay they do like uh they they don't like it if other empires parade any kind of robotic pops around in front of our faces. Well, I don't care. The Committee of Sacred Traditions. Okay. Allowing for the replacement of organic life with robotic workers will displease them. Okay, so we should outlaw AI if we want to keep them happy. Pious polity. Okay, spiritual values. Unha unhallowed ground. Setting foot in any tomb worlds will uh, upset them. Psionic pursuit. They do like that. Homogeneity. At least 25% of our population be some sort of form of spiritualist will like, will please them. Isn't that the case, though? Okay. Embattled minority. Finding spiritualist beliefs to be a minority issue and grooming collective will displease them. Okay. Well, I think we're, we're going to be okay with the factions for now. Uh, they're going to give us some extra influence, so that's good. And that means that I can expand just a little bit faster, hopefully. So that's good, too. Ooh, I can end the episode with another archaeological excavation. After a long, arduous period of digging deep into the crust of bear's fruit, the excavation team reached another underground structure. Despite readings indicating th that the building is hollow, no entry point can be found. It appears to be hermetically sealed, and the protective walls are made of some unknown material with extreme structural integrity. Conventional digging equipment doesn't even scratch it. It will require some serious effort to get through, but the project is already underway. Good. Now, if we, I think a month ticked over already, so you can now see that sending two envoys, maybe one would be enough as well, but sending two envoys uh, makes them happier and, 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 you know, more positive towards us. So last month it changed by plus four. And as we continue to keep our envoys at this tribe, they will start liking us more and more and more, and that will open up some new diplomatic options for us. So that's good, especially since they are the first that we meet and they are superior to us. So <laughs> we want to keep them happy, right? We do. But yes, time for me to stop this episode. We, uh, we have made a very interesting shape, haven't we? <laughs> Don't comment on that. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did it, the like button and please consider subscribing. It helps out immensely. New episodes in this series come out every day until episode 5. And uh, they come out at 8pm CET. And I will see you next time.